there, my name is Dave Blake from EGD and in this video we're going to be talking about the learning of devices in the stop input, auxiliary inputs and the Bluebus input. So at this point we're now ready to start registering devices with the control panel. Um, but before we do so, um, because we've got our relay photocells wired across the auxiliary input here and the panel is default set to a limit switch input, we need to set the panel so it's recognizing this as a photocell input. So you'll see above here we've got a button which is labeled photo PRG. We need to press and hold this down, keep it held down until the LED above it LP lights up, then let go. Now we're ready to start registering the devices. Um, before I do that I just want to explain what devices it's going to register with. So obviously we've got our relay photocells in here into AUX1 and the common. But what it will also register is whatever's into stop and the common. Now the stop input will monitor normally open, normally closed or 8.2K, as you know. So whatever state is wired in that input at that time, it will then monitor from here on out. And, and then any changes to that state it will stop the gates. Um, the other input it will register is uh, across 6 and 7, which is uh, for Bluebus devices. So you could have uh, Bluebus photocells, uh, Bluebus keypad, any any Bluebus device that NICE have manufactured basically. Uh, they can all be wired in parallel straight back to these two terminals here. So now we've kind of explained that, next step would be to program the uh, devices themselves. So what we want to do is open and stop set. We want to press them two down simultaneously until L1 and L2 start flashing quicker. And then let go. Shortly after we'll see that switch to L3 and L4. And what that is now telling us is uh, the devices have been learned, but now it's ready to do a, uh, a learn for the limits. Now, you might see uh, on the left here, uh, the red LED flashing there. That will clear when I carry out the next maneuver, but typically once you've registered devices, that LED should flash green. Uh, so now we are ready to go on to the next stage and program the limits. So to set the limits on this, uh, this control panel, um, typically what we want to make sure is, is the gate is set in the midway position um, before we execute this. And the reason for that is, is so that you know that the direction that the motor is traveling in is the right way. Um, if the gate goes in the incorrect direction, then the logic of the photocells and the open input will all be reversed, basically. So when we set this, when we start setting the limits, the gate must go to the closed direction first. If it starts going to the open direction, power down the system, reverse the two live contacts, the two live phases here, swap them over, power back up, start the process again. Um, what we need to, like I say, make sure is that the gate starts running to the close direction first. And to do that, we simply press and hold, stop, set and close simultaneously until you hear a click on the board and the gates will start traveling to the closed direction. Now I've got this set up in single mode at the moment. You'll see the outputs for the power going at the top here. It recognizes nothing in motor one and it's starting to travel on motor two. Now, as with the 24 volt system as well, the 230 volt system you must, if you've got a single operation, you must wire out of the motor two output. If you do, do not do that, then basically what, the gate, what will happen is the gate will come to the closed position and then it will not learn the open limits. By wiring out of motor two, the gate will slowly come to the closed position, it will slowly run all the way to the open position and then it will come back at its normal speed. You can see motor one is trying again, recognizes nothing connected and again motor one. And what we're looking for is when this is completed, L3 and L4 will go off and it will go back to its normal state. Like I say, you can see which, uh, which motor is in operation by these two LEDs up here. Um, you should see those LEDs on as the gates are in travel. We'll keep an eye on these two LEDs here and like I say, when that's completed, these LEDs will stay off and you shouldn't be left with anything on L1 through to L4 um, unless you've already set some of the standard parameters in which these are represented. And that is how we program the uh, limits in a basic mode on this panel. So that summarizes how to register your devices on the MC800 control panel. 
To stay up to date on industry news and for our latest offers, please follow us on social media or for more information, please contact us on the details below.